Hey there Media Nerds, in this video I'm going to show you how to remix songs in Adobe Audition. Let's just say you're working on a project and you've got a song that's 3 minutes and you want to uh, remix it so it's uh, 30 seconds long. Uh, or maybe you're in the opposite situation where you've got a song that's um, a couple of minutes long and you want to stretch it out to about 4 minutes. Uh, that's really super easy to do in Adobe Audition. We're going to start by launching the app. We're going to click multi-track uh, to create a new project. We're going to give our project a name and save it in a suitable location and hit OK. I'm going to hit Command Tab, that's Alt Tab on the PC to switch to the Finder. Uh, grab my song, uh, drag it and drop it into my project. Uh, you may see a notification like this and this is because the sample rate of the song doesn't match the sample rate of the project. I'm just going to hit OK and it'll make a copy of that song. It'll just take a moment to import. I'm going to hit minus on my keyboard a couple of times just to zoom out so I can see the entire duration of the song. If like me you've got a song that has a bit of silence at the beginning or the end of the clip, um, mouse over uh, and drag it just to trim it slightly. And what that will do is help you get a little bit closer to your desired duration. To remix, simply right click on the clip, scroll down to Remix, and choose Enable Remix. It'll take a moment to process. Then on the left under Properties, you're going to notice a whole bunch of settings. If you ever lose the Properties pane, you can find it again by going to the Windows menu and choosing Properties. To change the duration of the song, all you have to do is change the target duration. In this case, I'm going to change the song uh, to 30 seconds. And when I hit enter, you'll notice that the length of the song changes. Now, if you look closely at the song, you'll notice these lines that indicate where the original song has been cut. There are a number of settings you can use to refine uh, your remix. First of all, you'll notice that the duration of my remix song is actually 28 seconds. Next to target duration, you'll notice there's a plus or minus 5 seconds. Now, if you're not close enough to your desired duration, you can change the maximum slack here uh, at the bottom of this pane. So that determines how uh, much over or how much under that target duration audition can be. For the sake of a few seconds, I always find it much easier simply to edit my video to suit. If precision is important, you can check this box to stretch the audio to the exact duration, but I've found it can subtly alter the pitch of the music, and for the sake of a few seconds, it's always easier to edit the video. Edit length determines whether the algorithm favors shorter or longer clips. In my case, I'm going to drag this towards uh, short. And when I do, you'll notice that uh, it's picked up some of the shorter parts of this song at the beginning, which in my case works a little bit better. Features lets Audition know what it should be looking for when it remixes the song. Dragging the slider towards timbre will favour songs with better percussive and have a definite beat. Dragging the slider towards harmonic will give you better results for songs that are more harmonic. Think choirs, synthesised beds, or maybe string sections without percussion that Audition can easily pick up on. Minimum loop tells Audition the minimum number of bars that it can loop. This is super handy if you're making a song longer and the remixed piece ends up sounding a bit repetitive. Play around with the settings until you end up with something that you're happy with. When you're done, make sure you've selected the clip in your multi-track editor. Go to File, Export, Multi-Track Mix Down, Selected Clips. Give your song a name and choose a suitable location to save it, and then press OK. The remix feature in Adobe Audition has quickly become an integral part of my workflow, and I hope you enjoy using it too.